boom. Mic's looking good. Audio's looking good. Got Instagram here. Got Facebook here. What's going on, world? How How is everyone on this fine Monday? We'll kind of give everyone here a minute to pop on in, populate, stop eating your lunch, stop editing pictures, focus up on me for a minute. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? YouTube's here too. That's pretty sweet. You guys, hello. How is everyone doing? Happy Monday to you all. Welcome to episode 157 of Six Figure Live. My name's Ben Hartley with Style and Story Creative, and of course, Six Figure Photography. Um, good, good Monday to you all. I wanted to say thank you guys. Thank you so much. I, I well, thank you and an apology at the same time. Last week was crazy. Uh, we were doing video production all week long, uh, doing some commercial video work, and it just like it just took it out of us. And so we were just putting in full days, uh, Monday through Thursday, and it just got crazy. And so I was totally, uh, I was totally distracted, focused in on uh, on video production, and I didn't have the opportunity to go live to you guys. Stephen. Can you get me all queued up here? here? Thank you, thank you, thank you. But we're going back at it. We're going hard this week, you guys. Look, we're going hard. It is what? First of April, second of April, third of April? What do we got here? It's April 3rd, you guys. Uh, you better believe that this week we're making things happen. All right. Suzanne, how are you? Who else is here? Say hi. You guys, if this is your first time joining, please tell me. Uh, I would love to say hi to you. I'd love to give you a little shout out. If you're a long time watcher of Six Figure Live, if you've been hearing my voice far too often in your uh, little earbuds, let me know that too. Uh, I appreciate the guys who also, uh, the gals who also show up uh, faithfully all the time. Steve is watching. What's up, Steve? How are you, man? You guys, the entire purpose of Six Figure Live uh, is, is for me to be this voice in your ear every damn day, Monday through Friday, just showing up for you guys, encouraging you guys to put in the work, to keep moving the needle, to keep building your business, to keep reaching out to that, that one extra lead, that one extra vendor, to keep trying something new. Like My goal is to inspire and to motivate you guys simply by showing you that I'm on the other side doing it, right? Like that's that's so much the purpose of this, right? I want to help you guys grow your business because I, I understand how hard it is when we're doing this alone, when you're isolated, when you're in your living room, your basement, your garage. You guys, just so you know, like uh, we didn't get this space, the studio space here till like last year. For the first, you know, what, four years of our business, it was like, you know, working off the couch. And then we upgraded to the garage, uh, where we worked out of our garage for a year. Like I'm talking just like straight up cement floor garage, right? That's where we did our thing. And then we finally found our, our, our find ourselves here. And so anyhow, um, that's my hope for you guys is to give you uh, to give you something that you can take uh, and move forward with. And so anyhow, that's what's up. Who else is here? Stephanie, Steph, are you watching on Instagram or are you watching on Facebook, girl? I love it. Mark, good afternoon to you as well. Look, how are you guys doing? I missed I missed you guys. Like, can I be real? I legit missed you guys. I took a week and I didn't get a chance to go live uh, for you guys for an entire week. Uh, we were doing a commercial video shoot that just completely ate into our week. And so um, our, our, everything was focused up on the, on the video production side of things. Um, but how are you guys doing? What were you guys up to over this last week? I feel like I like I, I just don't even know. Um, so anyhow, I like I'm, I'm, I'm glad you guys are here uh, right now. Stephanie's decided Facebook for now. Awesome. Here's the deal, you guys. I want to talk about something uh, that um, I think is really freaking important to talk about. Um, I got an email. I've actually gotten a couple emails that have said this. Right? You guys know one of the one of the main things that I try to do is I try to give you guys the lifeblood to your business. Which, let's be honest, the lifeblood to your business is new leads in the door, new clients in the door. You need new leads in the door. You need to keep your pipeline full. You need to keep attracting new clients and book them. Right? Like that's what you need. You need that more than anything. Right? More than you need a fifty millimeter one point two. More than you need to go to that conference more than you need that that preset or whatever you need to get leads in the door so that's one of my big objectives and I've gotten this email a couple of times um, and this email you know I, I always just I let it go I just like okay cool I just respond okay cool you know have a good day or whatever but this is the email that I get hey Ben I checked out your stuff and it seems to uh, this seems to work for beginner photographers it's just not for me where I'm at in my business I'll get the email that says hey Ben I, I went ahead I you know I, I read through some of your emails I've listened to you talk a little bit and it just seems to be for someone who's just starting out on their business can like can we address something here real quick 
that like everything that I talk about doing, I'm still doing every damn day. Like there's no secret sauce of once you've, you, once you've been in business for a year or four years or five years, or once you make, you know, uh, 20K or once you, you book your first $3,000 wedding or once you book your first $10,000 wedding or once you bring on a new, you know, a team or you, you outsource your editing, it, there's nothing different that happens, you guys. You keep showing up every damn day and you keep doing all of this stuff and it builds. Yeah, like it's the same stuff over and over and over and over and you keep getting better at it and it keeps snowballing and it keeps developing and changing and you keep getting a greater reach and you keep getting your ideal client focused up more and more and more and more, but you just keep doing the same thing. Like I'm honest, like I, I, that is exactly it. It's heart and hands, you guys. When I say heart and hands, that's what I titled this episode. When people tell me that, when people say, you know what, Ben, it looks like this stuff is just something that's for the beginner photographer. I tried it out and Ben, it just didn't work. Um, usually what that ends up meaning is, is one of two things. Uh, let me define heart and hands. Heart and hands is this, you guys. So often it usually means this. Look, they're like doing tactics. They're doing the thing. They're making Facebook ads. They're reaching out to vendors. They're getting their work, their work published. That's the hands, right? That's like getting, getting your hands dirty. That's like actually putting in the work and like trying these different things. But their whole heart, the whole model behind it's flawed. You guys get that, right? You could try every little tactic in the book all you want. You could have the best damn SEO campaign all you want. But if your main goal, if, you're, if, you're, if your heart isn't aligned, if you haven't heart checked why you're doing what you're doing and where you're moving towards, this stuff will fall flat on its face. It will. It'll fall flat on its face. And so when people tell me that, either A, they're actually not putting in the work. So many of you guys tell me, yeah, this, this didn't work out. You didn't even do it. You didn't even try it. And if you did, you didn't put all of it. You didn't commit all of it. And so either A, we're not putting in the actual work that we're saying, we're telling ourselves. You guys can't fool me. I know. Like I looked this shit up. I know when you're not putting in the work. Either that or you're, it's not been heart checked. You're not actually moving in the right direction. You're like, hey, I'm going to start selling albums because I think I can make a shit ton of money. If that's your whole MO for print, if that's your whole MO for, for album sales and in person, then you're flawed. It's not gonna work. Like it really won't. It might work for a little while. You might make a buck here or there, but the whole end goal of it, you're not gonna actually build this thing to where you need to be, right? You guys, there's nothing magical. There's nothing magical. You have to keep showing up every day. Your heart has to be aligned. You have to, be, you have, to have patience and understand where you're going, where you're going with this whole thing. What are your goals? And then you need to show up every single day and start doing this stuff every single day. It hasn't changed since day one, since I started, I'm still doing the same damn stuff, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it every single day and I'm looking for opportunities because it changes, right? It changes. Now it's, it's less of Facebook and it's more of Instagram, but it's the same stuff. Maybe now I'm not trying to partner and network with, uh, with bridal planners and maybe now I'm trying to network and, and, uh, partner with vendors, but it's this like, uh, I'm sorry. Um, venues, but it's the same damn stuff. It just, it changes in subtle ways, but you just keep showing up and doing it. Uh, and so anyway, I just, man, you guys, heart and hands, please understand this before you, before you will build this thing, right? You can do everything that I, you could, you could do every tactic that I've given you guys, but if your business isn't actually moving in a place, uh, that you fully heart checked, that, that actually sits well with you, that makes you feel good about yourself, that blesses others, that gives back to your leads, that gives back to your clients, that actually provides value first to people, that isn't just about making a quick buck. I've talked to so many photographers that are like, I decided to go into wedding photography because I, I think I can make more money doing that than I can uh, doing portraits or vice versa. If that's a whole MO, I, it might work for year one, it might work for year two but you're gonna get yourselves in a pickle. Your heart has to be aligned and then every single action has to follow in line with that. Your heart and hands has to be aligned and then you just gotta start doing. You gotta start putting in the work. You gotta start showing up every single day and actually start doing this stuff. And then when it doesn't work after a week, don't cry about it. When it doesn't work after one month, don't email me and say, Ben Hartley, this SEO shit doesn't work that you talked about. Shut the F up, right? Like, I'm so sorry, but you, you have to have patience. Put it in for a day, put it in for a week, put it in for a month, put it in for six months, do it for a year, do it for two years, and just keep doing it, you guys. There's no secret. There's, there's, there's no big magic bullet that, that's gonna change it all. You gotta put in the work.
All right, man. Sorry, I had to come hard on you guys today. I, I was I was off for a week, and so I had to come out here like like fire here. Um, okay, <laughs> let's see what people are up to. Hi, good morning, Matt. Matt, you before weddings? That's incredible, dude. Celebrate that. How are you, Matt? Here's what I want to know: How are you celebrating that? Look, Matt just booked four weddings. He said five now this month. Matt, you just booked five weddings. How are you celebrating that? Please celebrate those wins. You guys, we have to celebrate our wins. Celebrate that, Matt. I want to know how you're celebrating it. Um, Suzanne's working on partnerships. All right, you guys, that's it. That's all I got for you guys, man. Just know this, that like, it's, it's the same stuff. It's the same stuff. It's relationships. It's connecting to people. It's giving value. It's giving a damn about the other person before they book you, before the lead helps you out, before you get on their preferred vendor list. It's you showing up and giving a damn about them. It's you actually giving a damn about yourself and your family and your team, right? And, and trying to reverse engineer, what is it that they need? What is it that they want? How can I bless them? How can I give more back to them? You gotta start with that. Man, this, I'm, I'm gonna do a full episode on this whole thing, but it's crazy how we're coming full circle in regards to communication, in regards to empathy, in regards to EQ, in regards to actually being, if you wanna stand out now, like you have to actually carry a conversation. You actually have to talk to people. You actually have to be able to exist face to face with someone, look them square in the eye and, and carry a real conversation. It's really cool. All this is happening. I love live content for this reason. Um, anyhow, man, I'm going to stop cause I'm just going to keep going. Otherwise, um, I'm also looking to make my next move. Awesome. Cool, Matt. Good job. You guys. All right. You guys, we'll see you guys tomorrow, episode 158 of Six Figure Live. Look, you guys, I know this is fire. I know I was just yelling at you guys, but my hope is that it's, it's giving you guys something, that it's waking something up in you, that you start to recognize, like, yes, you got to keep doing this stuff, right? You just got to keep doing this stuff. Um, and, it, and if it's not working, then something else is flawed. And can I, can I also remind you of this, by the way? Um, I, like, uh, I'm not special right? I've encountered these flaws and I've had to work through these failures. 2015, uh, 2015 going into 2016 was a really challenging year because I wasn't prepared for that. And I needed to go back and heart check myself. G get your head around this for a minute. You guys, if things aren't working, check yourself, see what needs to be changed. Have a heart check, a big one, slow the F down, right? And start looking at where you're actually heading. What's the trajectory of where you're going? How are you treating your leads? How are you treating your spouse? How are you treating your kids? How are you treating your vendors? Start stepping back and looking at it and you're gonna start to see trends and you may need to completely reevaluate things and get ready to change a whole lot of stuff, right? 2015, in the beginning of 2016, we needed to do that here. And man, when we did, like it's, we've gone from like, you know, zero to like 80, like we're going to have the best damn year ever. Cause we heart checked you, you guys, please heart check yourselves. I can give you every tactic I can, right? I can give you the entire playbook, but if your heart's not in aligned, it's going to fall. It's going to fall. All right. Whew. You guys, I appreciate you. I, I, I really do. I appreciate you guys showing up. I appreciate you guys giving me your, your time and attention. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Sorry, by the way, I'm trying to work on my, on my cursing here and I just got so fired up. I really, I really spit it out at you guys. So anyhow, see you guys. Bye.